Hi and welcome uh, to the first in a series of videos where the sole aim is to teach you how to build a buy-to-let property empire. Um, I'm ready, I'm sat here, I've got, uh, got the, the, the course notes, <laughs> there's uh, you know, about 70 odd pages there. Uh, this should be the bit where I tell you that um, you know, investing in buy-to-let is hard work, it takes time, uh, dedication, you'll need some capital, and there's no magic formula. Um, that's all absolutely true, except the last bit. There is a magic formula. Um, it's quite easy to understand. Some su successful investors don't veer too far away from it. Um, honestly, I've never seen a portfolio that um, hasn't been built in this way. Over sort of 10, 15, 20 properties, you know, sure, people can sort of scrabble together and get five, maybe 10. Uh, but if you're going to build serious numbers, 10, 20, 30 properties, it's got to be built in this, in this way. Um, I've never seen a property portfolio that doesn't follow this relatively simple formula. Um, I'm going to show it to you now. Um, buy to let isn't get rich quick over uh, and get rich quick or get rich overnight. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. If you think it can, press stop now, you know, go go Google uh, day trading or whatever. Uh, I can't cover everything in one video. Um, I'm going to give you a an overview in, in five videos, but there will be a hell of a lot of work to do after this. Um, more videos to watch, more research to do and some actual work to do, you know, viewings and fixing properties and, uh, and renting them out. But if you're serious, I genuinely think you can pick up enough um, from watching these videos to, to make a real success for yourself. The reason I say that is because what got me going was reading just one book. And I think that I can do a better job uh, through the through the medium of video to start off with, which is which is better than a book. And also, yeah, it wasn't a particularly good book. And that is what got me going. Um, so if you're serious, I think this is doable. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and everything, every video I record will be um, um, sent to you automatically. I'll be read here too, reading the comments, cheering you on. Uh, there must be, a, there's going to have to be a special prize for the first person that uh, watched the video and uh, um, actually bought a house from it as well. So, also, if you need more help, we're here, we're here in real life. <laughs> um, uh, just, just to be clear, we, it, we're sat in an office in, in the middle. I'm in, in my home office at the moment, but uh, we, we have multiple offices. We're a lettings business. Um, as a team, we've bought over a thousand properties in the last. 10 years, you know, in the last decade. Um, we know what we're doing. So you know, I, I run a lettings business. One, one of the questions is, why, why is this guy doing this on uh, on YouTube? Why is, he, why is he putting these videos out? I want more landlords. We get more customers, you know. Um, if you struggle to do this yourself, we can do it for you. Um, if you need more than a YouTube video is going to do give you, um, we'd love to help you. It's free to pick up the phone. Uh, we have a website, website for thelandlords.com. Pick up the phone. Uh, it's free to come and meet us or um, you know, pick up the phone. So what is this magic formula? F first of all, it's, it's easy to get overwhelmed. I'm very well aware of when we were doing this. It's easy to get overwhelmed. And it's also really easy to be over for simplistic, isn't it? So I've got a process. It's a way of... Um, thinking and organising myself uh, to grow a buy to let portfolio. It's got four stages and I'm going to give it to you now. Um, the nice thing is you can take those four stages in whatever detail you need. You can be 40,000 feet you know, uh, 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 looking looking down and, and, and planning or you can be right on the ground and, and um, in the detail of, and, and the day to day. So let's cover the 40,000 foot over um, aerial view of, of the uh, of the plan to start off with and we'll leave the next um, uh, videos to cover the, the, the rest of it. The four stages of this and uh, you, you, you might want to write the, them down this is the kind of videos it's going to be um, later on there might be even a little bit of homework for you. Um, the first part of the process is find. That's finding the right house in the right area and really importantly at the right price and you'll appreciate there's quite a lot more work to do in finding the right house but for now find. Second is fix, um, doing the right quality renovation um, for the right price in a realistic time frame. Time, cost and quality they're the three things you want to be checking so the, the first point find, second point fix that's the second point in the process. The third point is rent, um, getting the right tenant, doing the right referencing, uh, the right paperwork, then managing the ongoing tenancy in the right way, the financial side of things, uh, collecting rent, 
making sure the property is in um, good condition and making sure your tenant is happy. That's not over to be looked as well. So that's the third thing, rent. The fourth is repeat. And this is bringing it all together, keeping the process moving, uh, running your property business in the right way, the financing, mortgages, the accounting, the bookkeeping, setting the goals. This is the bit when you know that the magic formula is working for you. Um, why is it magic? Uh, and it, it really, genuinely, when I first um, learned that this was the way to do it, a light bulb went on in my head. Um, when you get it right, you'll be able to buy multiple properties from one pot of capital. That's why it's magic. Usually people would think that investing in buy-to-let is slow. And for most landlords, they're right. Um, you save up a deposit, you buy a house, you rent it out, and then you save up another deposit. And honestly, that little bit of rent isn't going a long way to saving up that second deposit. By the time you've got 10, 15, 20 properties, that rent is actually saving up a useful amount towards the next deposit. But it's getting to the 5, 10, 15 properties point that is the struggle for most landlords. That's what we're going to show you how to achieve, to get over the point where it's just too much hard work to get it going. Our way is a lot faster. Not only faster, but every property that I buy, that you're going to buy, is going to make you a profit. And we'll put profit in uh, air quotes, even though I hate them. Um, because it's not really a profit, it's going to be more like a capital gain, even though you're not going to pay, pay any tax on it, we're not going to sell anything. But we're going to make a profit of between you know, ten and £20,000 for every property that uh, that we buy. That's later on stuff, not 40,000 foot of stuff. So that's, that's later on stuff. There are four numbers that you're going to need to know uh, when investing in property and they com, um, correspond to the four stages. If you get them right, um, they become that magic formula. So here are the numbers. Number one, and this relates to find, is the purchase price. Now, actually, you don't need to know this number. You're going to calculate it. The magic formula is going to give you this number. That's the magic of it. It's going to tell you the maximum amount that you can pay for a property. Uh, the number two, uh, the thing that relates to fix, is the renovation cost. Yeah. How much would it cost to get the property you're about to buy, which almost certainly is going to need a renovation. That's the ground level stuff that we're going to come on to in the next videos, but it's probably going to need a renovation. How much is it going to cost to get it into tip-top condition, to make it worth all that it can be worth given, to put it into A1 condition. So number two is fix, and that's the renovation cost. Number three is the rent, that's pretty easy, that's the rent. And it's one of those things where I say it's pretty easy and you gloss over it, because honestly, it should be pretty easy. Um, but don't forget, if the magic formula is working, then rent really can just be a chuck it over your shoulder, it sits in your portfolio and you rent this property out for the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years and it's all easy. If you get it wrong, that's when you've got more to think about on rent because you didn't rent it to the right tenant and you didn't rent it for the right amount of money and you've got problems. So you do want it to be rent, it's rent, chuck it over your shoulder, it's easy. But if it isn't, that's when you've got some problems. So number three is knowing what the rent is. And number four, it's probably the trickiest thing to work out, is the developed value of the property. Um, really, really simply, we want to buy this property and spend an amount of money on it on, the, on a renovation. And when you add those two things together, you know, the total amount of money you've spent on this property, it needs to be less than the property is worth. Everybody's seen a builder, buy a house, do it up, sell it on, and they make a profit. We're not going to sell it, but we want to buy a house, do it up, and have it worth more money. And that's how this whole magic formula fits together and we're going to be able to um, buy multiple properties from, uh, from one deposit. So here's some examples. I, um, I went a bit analogue on this and I printed some out for you. And uh, I'm going to stick them in front of the screen now. There's one. That's the property. And, and do you know what? I'm not going to, but I'll, I'll let you know that I could. I've done that. We do not need pictures of properties at this stage. You know, later on when we're trying to work out, you know, if it's the right house or the, you know, if the right renovation, all those things, we might want to see some visuals. But right now we could do all of these, uh, this on the numbers. So there's one property there. There's another one. And yeah, I'm just flicking these in front of you. 
there's a pause button and we're going to use it later on, okay? There's another one. These are all real houses we bought in the last month, two months. Don't worry about timings. We're not going to talk about timings. You know, I said we bought them in the last month. I've bought houses like this with these numbers um, for the last 10 years, 15 years. Might have bought them in different areas, but they've all had the same numbers. Ah, I threw a curveball in there. That's an HMO. Just to remind us that a little bit later on, we are going to talk about HMOs, houses and multiple occupation. Um, so, you know, there's some numbers that went across the screen. Um, and here's the final one. And should we run through that in a little bit more detail? Simply because um, the numbers, if you look at the end value, £100,000, if we want to do some percentage work, it's kind of easy, so I left that one to last. Um, I want to explain what's going to happen here. You add up the purchase price and the renovation cost. And then look at how much money the property is worth. Roughly speaking, the renovation cost and the purchase price is about uh, £80,000, isn't it? The developed value is £100,000. So if we buy this house for 65, pounds spend fifteen pounds on it, we've only spent £80,000 on it, and it's worth hundred. Now, we could sell it and bank £20,000, but how about, instead of selling it, because this looks to me, looking at that rent, it's a perfect yield, and I like the idea of uh, owning that long term. How about we send the bank around there, once, once it's all done, once the tenant's in there, say, do you agree it's worth £100,000? They will, and that's part of getting certain on this. And will you please lend me, a ver on, on this property, I don't know, £75,000, £80,000, £70,000, depends. So the way loans work is it's called a loan to value. If a bank loaned you 75% loan to value on £100,000, they would write you a cheque, or back it these days, for £75,000. We've only bought this house for £80,000. So really, by the time all's done and dusted, we've only put £5,000 of our own money into that property. If you go back through all these, pause, get a calculator out, you'll work out that that is the magic formula. It's as simple as that. Um, get a calculator out, do it, do it yourself. Don't, don't buy anything that doesn't conform to that mag magic formula. Whether you've got 20% off or 18% or 22, isn't, you know, it, it's not the be all and the end all, but not 15, not 10. If you try and get 25, you, you rarely, rarely buy something. You might buy you know, one every two years at 25%. So that 20% we found is absolutely the, the, the sweet spot of keeping buying. So don't fret if you don't get it. Um, I've got 10 minutes for a video and uh, it's never going to be the best explanation that's going to come in all the videos down the line so um let me show you something before i go so i um i i started doing this um earlier on what's the difference between a landlord who um has a go buys a few houses um so they can bracket a dinner party or whatever and uh, the landlord who successfully builds a property empire of 10 20 30 50 properties I can tell you now, um, the reason that one person manages it and the other person fails is, is the person that manages it plans to do it. Um, at the most fundamental level, they set out with a plan. And th this is going to be your plan. I love business plans. They're great. But they should all fit on a single sheet of paper. I run my entire business with this document and three other documents. And yes, I'm going to show you what those other three documents are. Um, your plan will not be as simple. If you, you, you can see here, you've got find, fix, rent, repeat. That's how it works. And you can put the key metrics in. The rings are the years. This is one year, this is two years, this is three years. And um, you simply put in you know, how many viewings you need to do. Whatever, whatever the thing is, it changes for different people. And is, if you put another line in here or here or here, you can say what it is the thing that you need to be working on right now so as we go through the next videos and you pick up with something that you know exactly how to do let's say you don't need to put it down here if there's something you don't need to know how to do or it's not in line or there's something you need to improve you put it down here and have a plan to work on it if you don't believe that i do this i took out this folder this is my own personal one this is a blank that i can send out to people look at this these are my real ones you know Look at, the, look at the pen marks on them, you know. 
I've been doing this for years, and this 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 works. You know, um, zooming in, there's some of the other sort of sneak peek of the documents that I'm going to show you later on there as well. But uh, you know, that that I think that's version eight, version nine. You know, every single uh, not I, I review it completely annually, but I can, you can review it any time. Um, so yeah, your your business will not be as simple as just four lines, but sometime down down the line in the, in the future maybe it will be and that means that you've got a well-run business with not a lot of issues to talk about so um that's that's down the line um you'll notice we've only got half the circle completed that's on purpose as well i've got a thing here if you can sort of zoom in on that bit it says it's their 90 day yachting test it could be i like yachting i like going to sailing but uh, um it could be for anything for you it could be the 90 day trekking down the amazon rainforest or whatever for you whatever it is can you go away in your business for 90 days and come back and not only is everything running well but if you had a change that you wanted to see from there to there you wanted an improvement would it have happened can you run your property business sat on a beach i can i can run mine i don't <laughs> run it from a beach i've got uh, four unruly kids that need taken to school every morning and oh well honestly I suppose if I was sat on a beach my wife would say why aren't I sat with you and she's got plenty of things to do as well but I could I could run it from a beach and um I I'll show you I have these kind of lines once you got past this point here you not now start to think about you know we've got a things that we like to do home we've got a an everyday line we've got a, a wow project we always run a wow project in our lives we've got individual time and then right at the top you've got what's coming next and you start to think about what's the next you know, quarter bringing or the next gear bringing or whatever so that's all for later um i hope you enjoyed that um go back and pause these run the magic formula and make sure you're subscribed and in the next videos i'm going to show you how to find that property, fix that property, rent that property out, and then repeat it so you build your property empire. That's what we're going to do. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.